kindly rise for the angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, the by the power Holy of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you art among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and we are of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be, Be done, done unto, unto me according, according to, thy to thy word. word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is your fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and we are of our Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelled amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed are you the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour o forth, we beseech you, o Lord, o Lord, thy grace into our hearts, hearts that, that we, to, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel. May his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. To the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. May the divine assistant remain always with us. For the entrance hymn, we shall take hymn number two, Ring Out Your Joy. My friends, this Mass has been offered to give us intention and for all of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My friends, on this Saturday, we remember in a very, very special way the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Yesterday, we celebrated the solemnity of? Yes, Sacred Heart of Jesus. And today, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. There is no importance of Mary without Jesus. 
And therefore, every celebration we have of Mary has something somewhere to do with Jesus. So as you and I participate in this Eucharist today, celebrating the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, we are called to look into and understand how through the heart of Mary we reach Jesus. The gospel that you and I are going to read will give us a glimpse into that particular situation when Jesus is lost in the temple and how Mary looks for him. For the times we may have failed to really recognize the Lord in our lives, let us pause for a while and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. <clears throat> I confess to the Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who prepared a fit dwelling place for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, graciously grant that through her intercession we may be a worthy temple of your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The descendants of my people shall be known among the nations and their offspring in the midst of the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them, that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exalt in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as garden causes what is saw in it to spring up. So 
the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Response. My heart exults in the Lord. My, My heart, heart exults in, in the, the Lord. Lord. My heart exults in the Lord. My strength is exalted in the Lord. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. Response, my, my heart, heart exalts, exalts in, in the, the Lord. Lord. The bows of the mighty are broken. Those who were full have hired themselves out for bread. But those who were hungry have ceased to hunger. The baron has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. Response, my, my heart, heart exalts in, in the, the Lord. Lord. The Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down to Shilon and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low, he also exalts. Response, my, my heart, heart exalts in, in the Lord. Lord. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts up the needy from ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. Response, my, my heart, heart exalts in, in the Lord. Lord. Gospel acclamation. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to you from the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. Every year, the parents of Jesus went to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. When Jesus was 12 years old, they went to the festival as usual. When the festival was over, they started back home, but the boy Jesus stayed in Jerusalem. His parents did not know this. They thought he was with the group. So they traveled a whole day and then started looking for him among their relatives and friends. They did not find him. So they went back to Jerusalem looking for him. On the third day, they found him in the temple, sitting with the Jewish teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. All who heard him were amazed at his intelligent answers. His parents were astonished when they saw him. And his mother said to him, My son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been terribly worried trying to find you. He answered them, Why did you have to look for me? 
Didn't you know that I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand his answer. So Jesus went back with them to Nazareth, where he was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. Jesus grew both in body and wisdom, gaining favor with God and people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, I would like to ask you a question, and I will also request an answer. The question is, how many of you have prayed for something to God and didn't receive the answer on the same day? How many of you prayed to God for a favor and didn't receive the favor on that very same day? How many of you? Rest all I've got every day, eh? As soon as you pray, you get your answers. I'm sure, my friends, where some of you will be shy, I'm sure. But yes, we pray. And we pray that we get what we want on that very same day. Lord, give me this. I want it today itself. Now, there's someone who wants to pass his engineering. He'll say, Lord, help me, help me to pass engineering. Will he get it answered on the same day? Oh, yeah, three years he has to wait. Five years he has to wait. You know? Lord, I want this today. No. Our prayers may not be answered on that very same day, but there are some, there are some who are extremely special in God's eyes, okay? So sometimes their prayers are immediately answered. I remember some people in our parish when they come for Navina, they pray for something to our mother, and on that very same day, one lady had written, please give me please help me that I may get my provident fund. That very same evening after Navina, when she went home, she saw in her accounts the whole money transferred. Well, those are rare cases. But most of us, when we do not get that answer on that very same day, how do we feel? Happy? No. Restless, upset, stressed. When will God answer my questions. When will God give me my favor? And you keep counting days. Lord, give me this. Like, till you, some of us finish nine Navinas, ten Navinas, nineteen Navinas, but still sometimes the answer is not there. How do we go through such a period when the Lord is making us wait? It's not that the Lord has not heard, but the Lord is making us wait. What happens during that journey? Now, I will not give you immediate answers. Let us find out what happened to Mary, our dear mother, when she went through a similar situation. Today's gospel I read for you. Mary, with her husband Joseph and her son Jesus, they go to Jerusalem for their special annual Passover festival and when they are returning three days down the line and Jesus is not to be found. She must be praying, I want to find my son, he's just so young, 12 years age or lesser than that maybe. Worried. She's searching and searching three days. She should have found on the same day, no? If Jesus loves his mother so much, same day she should have found. Three days it took. Imagine the restlessness the worry, the tension that our dear mother went through, looking for Jesus back, all the way back to Jerusalem, looking in this house, looking in that house, looking on that street, looking on this street, no sleep in the night, and she's going through all this worry till she finds Jesus. Now, that's the journey, my friends, you and I go through every day. So, how should we go through that journey? 
how should we go through that journey? Let's take the example from our dear Mother Mary. In five beautiful ways, I will share with you how Mary went through that journey. First, Mary's devotion and faithfulness. Now, Mary was a faithful, was very faithful to her Jewish tradition, Jewish culture, religion. And one of the important things is to do a pilgrimage back to Jerusalem, wherever they are. From Bethlehem or from Nazareth, back to Jerusalem. Three days journey or more. She made it. Like a very devout Jewish lady, she goes through that journey. Just like today, you are here. You are from different parishes. But you come because of your devotion to our dear mother. You and I make special effort to complete our spiritual obligation. Every Sunday we make sure we are there to church. And some of us who have a privilege come on weekdays also. Very good. We don't fail to follow our spiritual obligation, which Mary did. That is showing your devotion to God. We must be faithful to our obligation, like Mary was. Second, G Mary loses Jesus. While returning, Jesus is not there. She finds out after a long time. She's going through the tough situation of, I don't know where Jesus is. My son, where is he? People may, might make fun of her. You are a mother, you don't know where Jesus is. She must be going through so much of stress. But she decided, I am going to look for him. I'm not going to wait for him to come home. No, I'm going to look for him. Imagine the love and care she had for her son. And also she knew he was not an ordinary son. He was Jesus. Somewhere she knows the weight of who Jesus is. And she has to look for him. Sometimes, my friends, we also lose the sight of Jesus. We are praying, we are praying, we are doing devotion, we are coming to this Navina, we are going to that Navina, so on and so forth. But when we go home, we forget what we have prayed and forget Jesus also. Don't lose the sight of Jesus. Whatever the situation may be, keep on searching like Mary did. Keep on searching. My prayers are not answered, all right, but I'll keep searching. The, the, the third element that I wish to share with you, the persistent search. Three days. Today she tried, the next day she's gone, the third day she's walking. Three days, it's a persistent search without giving up. She knew that she will find her son. I'm not going to give up. Sometimes we pray. I want this, I want that. There are many of us who pray and pray who don't receive an answer. So where they go? They go to other religions. Some Baba and I and all, they will give some answer. No. They also don't have answers. Surely our answer is only with Jesus. But our persistent search is important. Keep looking for Jesus and your efforts will be benefited. You will find Jesus. Just like our dear mother found Jesus. My friends, that is very, very important. No one important thing. Our efforts will not go waste. Our efforts will never go waste when that effort is to look for Jesus. The fourth important element, the encounter in the temple. When Mary sees Jesus in the temple. It was in the temple that Mary found Jesus. She never gives up. And in that temple, my friends, it challenges her. When you find Jesus, you find God himself. And in that search, in that search, you find the wisdom that is waiting for you. And finally, Mary's pondering heart. Whatever, whatever she said to Jesus, 
Where are you? I was looking for you. And Jesus tells her, don't you know? Don't you know that I should be in my father's house? There is a mixture of mystery. After you have reached there, there will be some things you will not understand. I'm looking for Jesus, but I'm not getting answer. Or Jesus says, don't you know? Why are you looking for me? Why are you searching for something wrong? You know, our answers that we will get, sometimes it's, it's illogical. Sometimes we may not understand what Jesus is talking. But remember one thing. In your search, there is always a mystery. And that mystery unfolds every day only because of Jesus. Mary said yes at the end of the day. And she gives us an example. Never give up when you pray. Always be persistent in your prayer. Sometimes your answers will be early. Sometimes your answer may take three days, 30 days, or maybe 300 days. But never give up the effort. And persistent effort, when goes on, you will find Jesus. Just like our dear mother found Jesus in the temple. And when you find Jesus, the answers you want may not be the way it is. But remember, Mary pondered it. Imagine a son telling to a mother, don't you know I should be here? And Mary doesn't shout at him. Mary just ponders, probably the Lord is telling me something. Let there be the element of mystery. Many of our young people today want answers to faith. Why is Jesus born this way? Which date he was born? Where did he go? And so on. And they think by getting that answer, their faith will be strengthened. No. Faith is strengthened by persistent search and the inspiration of Holy Spirit. And that faith will be strengthened only when you keep looking for Jesus. Not about Jesus. Not about Jesus. But Jesus. Mary looked for Jesus. Let us pray, my friends, that we may have the heart of Mary that looks for Jesus persistently and that efforts bears fruit. May that be our prayer as we celebrate this beautiful, beautiful memory of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. May we all stand. Mother Mary treasured all things in her heart, celebrating our mother's example on the feast day of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We pray for our needs. Your response shall be, Mary, our mother, intercede for us. Mary, our mother, our mother intercede, intercede for, for us. For our Pope Francis, all the bishops, priests, and religious, that they may live their lives glorifying God, helping one another as Mary our mother. We pray to the Lord. Mary, Mary our, our mother, mother intercede, intercede for us. For our political leaders, that they may humbly do their task with sincerity, caring tenderly for all those entrusted to them, especially the poor and the marginalized. We pray to the Lord. Mary, Mary our, our mother intercede, intercede for us. us. For the families who are finding it difficult to grow in holiness, that through the intercession of Mary, they may be molded after the example of the Holy Family. We pray to the Lord. Mary, Mary our, our mother, mother intercede, intercede for us. For men and women, especially the youth of our diocese, that Lord, our Father of all mercies, provider of a bountiful harvest, open the hearts of many, inspire in them, desire to be faithful servants of the gospel and spend themselves to lead his people towards good faith. We pray to the Lord. Mary, Mary our mother, intercede for us. Schools and colleges are to begin with a new academic year. We seek the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary for every student that they may grow in wisdom, faith, and sincerity, especially those who have cleared their 10th and 12th exam 
that they may be guided to select the right stream for the prosperity and glory of the church and the society. We pray to the Lord. Mary, Mary our, our mother, mother intercede, intercede for us. Let us pray for the following intentions in the silence of our heart, for the sick and the suffering, for those seeking employment, for couples praying for a baby, for sufficient rainfall this monsoon, for the lonely and those affected due to wars and natural calamities. Let us pray for our personal needs. Lord, our loving Father, as you formed your son Jesus through Mary, may we too be formed in your likeness. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. For the offertory hymn, we shall take hymn number 12, Bless, Blessed Are You, Lord. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all the good of his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful presented in commemoration of the Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, her Immaculate Heart, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even towards ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Felix, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, Lord, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We welcome the people of other faith in our midst. Only those who are baptized and have received the sacrament of Holy Eucharist are permitted to receive the Holy Communion. Others kindly remain seated. Baptisma sacramentus vikarla Christi shraddha vantanits atha communion vikarana sati rangya madhe pude ave itar dharmiya bhavikanni krupaya aplya zage varas basun prarthne madhe sabagi vave dhanne mad. For the communion, we shall take theme number 29 in his time.
the gospel of luke chapter 2 verses 19 says mary treasured all these words reflecting on them in her heart let us pray having been made partakers of eternal redemption we pray o lord that we who commemorate the mother of your son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through christ our lord Amen. kindly be seated the main celebrant for this mass father andrew dantis is currently serving at Nirmala Mata Church, Umera. He is the director for Pouch, is an organization. It works mainly for migrants. Father preached today on the theme of Immaculate Heart of Mary. And in his profound voice, he has mentioned and stressed enough that the heart of Mary is the model heart for each one of us. Father, thank you for accepting our invitation and celebrating this Mass. Through the intercession of our Lady of Remedies, may Almighty God fulfill all your desires and intentions. Masses in the morning are as follows. 5, 6, 30, 8, these Masses are in Marathi, and 9.30 Mass will be celebrated in English. In the evening, Masses are at 4, 5.30, and 7.15. Throughout the year, Navina Masses are celebrated on every Saturday at 5.45 and 7 in the morning and 5.30 in the evening. Mass intentions and donations are being accepted behind the stage near Vyani Ashram and behind the grotto of Our Lady of Lutes. We are grateful to all the sisters who have helped us with the communion distribution. Distributing any kind of leaflets outside or inside the church premises is strictly prohibited. Keeping environment conservation in mind, please avoid using plastic bags while carrying candles and garlands. Kindly follow the instructions of our ushers while traveling back home, kindly use the bypass routes. May God bless you. Thank you. Dukhat Nidhan, Krupaya Obhyasa. आपल्या रमेदी पारिशमधील अल्मोदरवाडी गाव परिवारातील फ्लॉरी अलेक्स कोन्साल्विस वय वर्ष एक्क्याऐंशी फ्लॉरी अलेक्स कोन्साल्विस यांचं निधन झालेलं आहे त्यांचा अंत्यविधी आता दुपारी बारा वाजता आपल्या रमेदी चर्चमध्ये होईल प्रकाश दे शाश्वत जीवन मृतास दे प्रभु तीला चिर प्रकाश दे The Lord be with you May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to you, God. We now say the Navina prayer to Our Lady of Remedies. Together, Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, you are the loving, loving Mother. mother of our, of our Lord Jesus, Jesus and, and of the, the whole, whole universe. universe. The, the people of Versailles revere you as the mother of remedies, the mother who intercedes to cure the, the sick and heal the suffering, the mother who leads us to Jesus in order to know God's plan and to fulfill our aspirations. We, we the faithful from all over Versailles and, and the neighboring parts of the city Come, come to thank and praise you for all the favors granted to us through your intercession. We implore you to look with compassion 
on all those suffering from physical, mental, and emotional illnesses. We urge you to look with tender love on those who are unknowingly trapped by sin. We plead to you to mediate to your Son, Jesus, to cure those who are in pain and sorrow. Intercede for our children in their studies and the youth for their bright future and to be rooted in faith. Bless our families with peace and joy. Help us to follow the path of purity and sincerity. Grant children to the married couples. Guide us to bloom as God's children in order to form our family in the footsteps of the Holy Family. Mother of Remedies, look with compassion on all who come to you, full of hope and confidence with their humble petitions. Let us pause and pray for our petitions. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, dear Mother of Remedies, and put forth our petition before God, our Heavenly Father. Our Lady of Remedies, pray for us. For the recessional, we shall take hymn number 31, Immaculate Mary. <laughs> 